Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back. My name is Megan if you're new and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to talk about downloading and installing fonts on your computer to use with Cricut Design Space. We will be using one of my favorite websites to download fonts from, creativefabrica.com. Now would be a good time to sign up on the website so that you will be able to download the fonts and save them to your account. Back to this screen where we will go to the freebies tab and select free fonts. Today we will just pick a regular font, um, something simple so that we can install it into design space uh, to see how it works. Today I'm going to pick the font called Boronic by Betsy Pecco. In order to download the font, you'll want to, you want to select the font, click download, and let it download to your computer. As you'll see with most fonts on this website, there will be commercial usage allowed. Be sure to check this because when you're creating your projects, you want to make sure that you have commercial per permission to use them. Once the font is downloaded, it will appear at the bottom of your computer and you will be able to click and the folder will appear. Most times you will need to unzip the file and select a folder to download the file to. Once the file has been opened, you'll need to select the open type font and double click. When the next box open, you'll need to select install and wait for it to install on your computer. Once the font has been installed completely, the install selection will be grayed out. You can now exit this box. You can also exit the folder. You will need to repeat this step for each font that you want to download from this website. Any fonts that you download on this website will be saved to your account so that anytime you will need to re-download them, they will be available for you. All the fonts that you download will be on the Downloads and License Keys page. Once you have downloaded all the fonts that you need for today, you can exit out of this screen. Now that you have downloaded and installed the, the font on your computer, you will need to open Design Space. Sometimes when you open Design Space, you will need to install the new update. If there's no an update to install, you're good to go. Select New Project, maximize your screen, allow Design Space to fully open, and then you will be able to select the text box. Once Design Space has fully loaded, you need to select the text option, click the font drop down box, select system, type in the name of the new font that you downloaded, and click search. The font that we downloaded was called Boronic. Now that we have selected the correct font, we will begin to type our words. We will type hello. Your word will appear here on the design space screen. You can resize it as much as you want. Also, you'll be able to change the letter space so that you can weld your words together. Also, you'll be able to change it to print or keep it as a basic cut and change the colors for your mat. Once you are done editing your letters, you'll need to weld them together 
in order to have a clean cut. Once you're done welding them together, you'll send it to your mat to make. And it's complete. Thank you so much for watching.